Hi everyone, my name is Doris Hobbs, your host here on Dose of Doris, a media platform where I share my personal journey of self-healing, spirituality, and the true essence of finding the answers from within. In each episode, I share a powerful dose of inspiration designed not only to uplift you, but to help you cultivate a mindset aligned with your soul's true purpose. If you're ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery, personal growth, and a life filled with love, then let's get started. Today, I wanted to open a new season of Do Sedoras with the concept of removing false idols from our lives. We often find ourselves chasing goals and dreams that turn out to be false idols, distracting us from our true purpose and causing more heartache than fulfillment. So identifying and removing these false idols is crucial to realigning ourselves with our authentic path. First, let's define what is a false idol. A false idol is anything we place above our true purpose, value, or God. This could be fame, money, or even a personal relationship we believe will bring us happiness. These idols can lead us away from our true calling and creating unnecessary struggles. As many of you know from my last episode back in May, I was certain that LA was where I needed to be. However, once I arrived, again, I quickly realized it was my false idol. Nearly 30 days in LA, I knew within the first week I had made a huge, huge mistake. The only thing I could do was repent and call onto the Lord for his mercy. As anyone embarks on this transformational journey, you will find yourself evolving into the person God intended you to be. During my time in LA, I had to humble myself in every aspect of my life. In other words, drop my ego. I began to seek truth through my faith rather than the illusions. Unity with God aligns us with our true purpose, helping us to avoid the traps of these false idols. Now, listening to your inner voice and following them is something very important because deep down, you already know what's right for you. Trust this feeling over the opinions of others. Focusing on spiritual teachings, reading the Bible, and striving to be more like Christ can help you align with your priorities. Recognizing where you have gone astray and seeking forgiveness in those areas again are essential. This process of confession clears the path for new beginnings, enabling you to let go of past mistakes and move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34, Jesus teaches us not to worry about life's essentials such as food and clothing because God knows our needs and will always provide for us. Worry undermines the trust in God, you know, God's power and distracts us from living a life full of faith. It can lead to a complaining spirit and a lack of spiritual fulfillment. What I'm about to say next was something I knew but never believed it for myself, that God loves you more than you could ever imagine, despite the mistakes I've made, running from God, thinking that LA was my promised land, and trying to do everything on my own. I've learned that love has the power to heal all wounds and bring peace to troubled hearts. Love transcends barriers, fostering understanding, forgiveness, and unity. As the Bible reminds us, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. In love, we find the strength to overcome adversity and the grace to heal and grow. I see now that coming back to LA to only leave again wasn't meant to break me, Mm -mm. but to humble me. It took me to a place known of false idols, but God showed me his light, a light filled with love and grace. The lessons I've learned and the transformations that I've experienced in LA through the connection with God are divine miracles. As we continue this season of Dosa Doris, I plan to share insights on various topics, including 
how to have faith in the unseen, how God speaks through numbers, and how to discover your spiritual gifts. To close, I invite you all to give your life to the Lord with love, trusting him fully and surrendering to his divine will. Know that his plan for you is filled with love and purpose. I trust this week's episode has been beneficial for you. Thank you for tuning in. If anyone is interested in collaborating, please don't hesitate to send me a message. You can find my contact details below. And until we meet next time, remember to always stay glamorous.